myorep decline dumbbell flies. This is going to be a cluster of repetitions that adds up to 25 reps. You're going to have to break up the clusters with individual breaks in between each one of them, 15 seconds. So in this example, when I do these, I do 10 reps, 15 second break, 10 reps, 15 second break, five reps. It does not have to be exactly like that, but you're going to need to do it in two to four clusters to get to 25 reps. You wanna choose a weight that's so challenging that you couldn't sit down and do 25 reps straight. You have to take breaks in between your clusters. So you saw me, I went through my first round there. I got my 10 reps, here I am. I'm taking a 15 second break. I'm gonna go back down again and I'm going to do another 10 reps before I take another break and finish out my myo reps here. Now, this is a decline fly. So you can see the bench is on a slight decline. If you don't have something to do this, you can always put plates in the front to prop it up. The point is, is that you want the part where you put your butt to be higher than the part where you put your head, so the bench is therefore on a decline. I wanna keep my back nice and braced in this pad. I wanna keep my feet flat on the ground, relatively long arms with a slight bend. Here we go, I'm going to get the 10 reps, I'm going to take a 15 second break, and then I'm gonna to proceed to get my last five. You guys can watch me finish this out, but myo reps are intended to be very fatiguing. This is myo reps decline dumbbell fly.